Welcome back, Nephilims, and to a first ever hardcore video that I've done. Uh, this is going to be pretty interesting. Uh, if anyone watches this channel, you'll know I die a lot. Uh, by I mean I, a lot, I mean every bloody greater rift. Uh, even getting to level 70, uh, I died two or three times. Uh, so I took this challenge on, praying that I can get to level 70 and see how far I can push without a single death. So I decided to start with Barbarian. And we shall name this barbarian a Glyndur, after Owen Glyndur, the Prince of Wales, in 1404 to 1415. Uh, he's actually pretty unsuccessful in the War of Independence, but uh, oh well. But still, he shall be named Glyndur, the pride of the D3 barbarian race. So kicking off, I pretty much had the worst possible start. Uh, I was all excited, hoping to get a gavel of judgment, but I get a Madwax Sorrow. I think I actually cried a little bit. Because this means a, not a fast start, and there's no way I'm going to be doing this in two hours now. So then using the Blood Shards, I start getting nothing. But then I get the Brace of Destruction, which unlock at level 17, uh, 16. Then I started debating on to get one or two-handed weapon. But decided to go for the headpiece. Managed to get the Oryx Crown again. Level 16. So from level 16, we can start the Seismic Slam build. And push out for the remainder to get... So I was just going to post up here all the gameplay from start to finish. But then I thought, you know what? I'm going to try something different. I'm going to RNG it. So I'll show my first and last rifts. And then I'll random generate in between. So... I did run one or two Halls of Agonies to start. Uh, that got me to kind of level 8. So then we start with... This is Rift 1. Uh, I also tried to upgrade a level 70 weapon and had zero luck on the rolls. Which was awesome. Uh, so the first Rift, as you can see, has gone pretty well. Kind of going in the routine of a Hoder-esque type build. Uh, it's not fast. <laughs> It's not powerful. It's not a seismic slam build, you know, that I wanted to go for. Just saying. Still a bit still a bit sore. And yes, I know that it opens up at level twelve, but still, you know, it hurts. It's really soon. So I came across a uh, bloody goblin horde, uh, with the slowest friggin' build I could possibly think. And uh yeah, most of them escaped, which was also Great start. Feeling it. Loving it. Loving life. I just love playing catch them all or bloody Pokemon style. Get everything. Bloody goblins. And they all run away and they never stick together. I don't have anything to group them with. Ugh. So this was quite a stressful time for me, because I really like these Goblin Hordes. You, know, you get a lot of good to the out of them. Uh, I get a little couple of goodies as well. And I got basically Jack. Um, which kind of uh, just started to mount up my day. Um, again, I'm killing sort of uh, the elites fairly easily. No problem. Can't kill a Goblin though. Just again, still sucks. So this rift probably took me around, oh, I want to say, <laughs> 10 minutes on normal. Um, and yeah, I didn't really get troubled at all. I did pick up a, a cheeky gold wrath there, which uh, is helpful, you know. And you you, you got to remember, this is hardcore now. Uh, it, so in my mind, I'm thinking, shoot, I need everything I possibly can get to give me as much toughness. Uh, which is good. Oh, actually, I actually had the saffron wrap here. Ah, okay. I get a gold wrap later on. Sneak peek. If you've made it this far, thank you for sticking around and watching and building up this sort of journey with me. Uh, it means a lot. Don't forget to hit that sub button. Uh, again, we are growing this channel day by day. You know, this week I've had about 15 new subscribers, which is immense. Uh, I really want to keep the trend going, uh, you know, build that little community, the DB community. Uh, and I hope this is the sort of video that people want to see. And, you know, if it's not, 
Let me know in the comments below of what you'd like to see more content of, and I'm happy to help. So our first ever Rift Guardian has Arcane. I mean, come on. This this is killing me, right? You know, this is insane. Arcane doesn't really stun for that long. But I do it. I kick his ass. Now, funny enough, moving on to random generator number one. Came up with the second Rift. Uh, couldn't actually make this shit up. Um... So yeah, awesome. Just gonna crack on with number two. Doesn't really tell you much. We've got to level 12 now, so I can access a seismic slam if I wanted it. Oh wait, nah, still ain't, still ain't got nothing for it uh, to level 16. Uh, not better, not better. I am not better about it. Okay, I, I am better about it. I am. Again. Not much to say here, second rift went pretty well. Not so difficult, not really dying at all. Still, I've moved the difficulty up now to hard, um, and we're just walking through stuff. So that's great, that's gonna mean a little bit faster XP. Uh, Glindor's handling himself. He's not getting killed. I made the level 13, he's not dead. I probably would have died by now. I am playing a little bit differently though, so I'm making sure that I run in, hit, get out of any blast radius. And you know, who the hell puts grotesques on hardcore? What sort of monsters are you? Uh, struggling a little bit with elites. And I mean, by struggling, I'm not one popping them or two popping them. I am getting a little bit behind, so... And again, poison. I mean, give me a friggin' break. Uh, so now I've got a couple of passives that I could use. So I go for Nerves of Steel, because uh, if I die, I get a little bonus buff. Nice. And then I saw Seismic Slam then. Just gonna have a little cry. Great, great, yeah. Let's just walk into a Stinging Winds. Not so bad. Jeez, uh, these guys packed a punch. Uh, man, I think this is where I got my Gold Wrap now, uh, if I remember rightly. Which I didn't earlier in the in this video. I'm just gonna pop a couple of elites. I'm doing this in fast mode and it's not dying quickly. This is... Yeah, so here I have a gold wrap. I'm thinking, thank Christ. I have the gold wrap now. I can move on with my life. Uh, we're getting there now, guys. We're starting to move forward a little bit. We are level 13. I've got gold wrap. 14. Two more levels. Two more levels and I'm seismic slamming the crap out of everybody. With my braces of destruction, get the crown in as well. Beautiful. Coming up shortly, we're going to get a ledge drop. I'm going to give you a couple of seconds to think about what it is. What do you think? What do you think I need right now just to boost my life? Gavel of Judgment, you say? Well, step right up. It isn't. Uh, it's a Fjord Cutter, which actually helps. When I stun an enemy, then I hit him again extra 150%. So I finally have something to put in the cube. Um, but this was actually pretty good uh, to use now. Um, so I used it with the Seismic Slam. Fairly powerful. I'm getting a little bit more speed out of the Rift. Um, it's not going to be as good as when I hit level 16 in a few moments. Well after this rift and then then you start to see pop then uh, then I can start popping stuff one pop in elites it's a beautiful time to be alive come on Glindor survive my son Okay, here we go. Here we go. There's a random number to generate. Came up with number three. I mean, 
great. Thanks. That, that, that's awesome. Um, we're 16, guys. We're level 16. Now let's start hitting that seismic slam. And we're going to start one popping stuff all over the shop. I love the sound of this. It's like a, like you're on a train. Like we're on a journey, guys. This is what this feels like. We are on a journey. But yeah, now I can start getting through these rifts a lot quicker. Uh, we're still on hard at the moment. And we're just popping away. One shot in some stuff. Not everything, but enough. Uh, elites probably three shots. I'm three shot in elites. But trash, one shot, gone. Yeah, this rift was a lot quicker. <laughs> Full shizzle, my nizzle. This was a lot quicker. Boom, boom, boom. I love it in fast paced. It's just so much more fun to watch. Obviously, if you disagree, let me know in the comments. Tell me what you think. Again, if, if this is something that you enjoy to watch, uh, I, I had a blast. I'll be honest with you, I have had a blast uh, doing this. And I was just going to, like I said, I was just going to post everything online, but I thought. I'm going to cut it up a little bit differently. I'm going to count the number of rifts that I do with this this character. I really build up the statistics around it. So we're on Nef Rift 3. Uh, I'll get how many... Unfortunately, I don't have any blood shards. I might count the amount of blood shards. That might be a good thing to, to catch up on. Uh, if you want to know that, hit me up on the comments below. Let me know what you think. Because that's probably a pretty, pretty interesting fact. How many blood shards were used. Um... <laughs> What you just saw there is me being a friggin' idiot. I actually paused the game, just went into my menu while the game was still live to have a look at my skills. Like a fool. I could have died then, guys. I could have died. So, next rift. Random generator has picked friggin' number four. You gotta be kidding me. This is. <laughs> if we go through to only net ref number 11, then this video is a waste, and I apologize for your time. Okay, so we're level 18, we're running around, we've got gold wrapping, got fjord cutter, got braces of destruction, Leoric's crowd. We're just walking through, just slamming the shit out of stuff. We are good, we are seismic slamming. I managed to get a beefy weapon, two handed weapon, it was great. Give me a nice little bump in, uh, in damage. Uh, I've also managed to get a, a decent weapon now uh, to a level 70 weapon, which comes in at around level 41. So yeah, pretty happy with that. A uh, bit of a relief actually, though, because I was thinking, this is going to take me days. <laughs> I was faced with the prospect of this entire project could take me days. And I was okay with it, but I was also angry. There, there angry so again popping the elites off managed to get a pox folds now so really starting to build up that uh you know legendary set that we're carrying just to get us through the first start just to get us to start really but yeah again i'm not dying it's the main thing i know it's only level 20 but i probably would have died if i was just doing this on standard play mode you don't, I don't think anyone understands how scary this is. The fear I had playing this game was absolutely insane. I've never concentrated so much on playing D3. And I say that after I just friggin' uh, clicked the skills menu like a noob. Uh, but yes, I am now doing something different. I got, a, I got a nice little bump in the new Brace of Destruction, but it didn't have as much uh, percentage on the power, so I dropped it. I didn't put it in. But again, level 21. We are just walking through. Then I get like a monster hunter. Absolute cack. Move on. Move on. Again, though, not dying. Can't underestimate how much not dying means. Obviously, I have a shield on. That probably helps. But, you know, I'm not going to downplay it. I'm not downplaying it. Alright. Go back to town. Right at the end of a rift. Get rid of all the junk, go back in, start kicking the crap out of stuff again. Now this this uh, this floor isn't actually anybody's favourite, but I kind of like it. It suits my playstyle. Uh, so this guy had poison, but see how fast I, I decimated that Rift Guardian. 
Uh, I kind of went on a little bit of an extra rampage to get a little bit more. RNG is going to come up with number eight. Okay, that's not so bad. Uh, I'll jump you in a little bit further in than normal. But now we're hitting, you know, we've done eight rifts now. We're level 34. We're moving on strong. Um, managed to get, you know, a helm again. I think it was Leoric's Oryx Crown again. Uh, just at level 30, I think it was. I'm level 31. So this is great, you know. Have to upgrade and put that gem in. Absolute cack gem that it is, but it got me somewhere. It's really interesting that I've not really done this uh, before, but I've never really documented what I've done in rifts before. Uh, but it, this was interesting for me to see. I'm eight rifts in. Uh, I think we're still on hard mode. Um, we haven't quite moved up to... No, no, actually, we've moved up to expert now. So, eight rifts in. We're on expert. Uh... It was a pretty good run. I was pretty happy with what's going on so far. I'm not dying. You know, okay, if I was going a different character, I would probably be like, you're gonna die. Like if I went Necromancer, if I went Wizard, Demon Hunter, these sort of ranged attack characters, Witch Doctor for pets, I'd have been screwed. Uh, so I chose Barb on that on purpose for that. Not that I would have picked him on a different one anyway, because I am a main barb. That is my character. That is my go-to guy. Is a barb. Um, but, you know, Glindor. So much pride in this guy. Uh, we managed to kill uh, a blue goblin, which is mwah, a beautiful thing. It is a beautiful thing when you kill those buggers. Because you get lots of goodies. We see the Rift Guardian now. How's he fair up? Boom. Gone. Thanks. See you later. So we've done eight rifts now. We're level 36. RNG. What are you going to give me? Number nine. Okay. This is taking the piss. Like, do you know how many friggin' rifts I have to do? This is actually quite a good rift. I jumped in and there was two sets of elites. And I just seismic slammed them. Boom. Massive jump in the star. But... It would have been better if I had Gavel of Bloody Judgment, I tell you now. Screw you, Blizzard. No Gavel of Judgment. You really screwed me over this season. But I still love you. In some deep, dark, sinister way. We're still together, baby. So again, nothing more to show, but here's a little interesting fact for you. If you have never, ever played a hardcore character before, you cannot go past Expert unless you complete Act 5 on Hardcore, or get to level 60. Yeah, I was pretty pissed, because I was starting to, you know, I'm level 39, I think. I was starting to smash through things. Nothing. Nothing. I can't do anything. I cannot go to Torment 1 until I'm level 60. So now I have to do the rest of it until I'm level 60 on friggin' Expert. So, add a little look. Oh yeah, I've never done this on Hardcore mode. Of course I haven't. What insane people do that? I know there are people out there, but you're still pretty friggin' insane. So... Just another setback. Because I would have been on Torment 1. I probably would have been able to level up a fair amount quicker. I won't say a lot, but I'll say a fair amount quicker. But, yeah, that's that kind of just sucked. So 
So a random generator hasn't really proven to be that random. Or has it? Hasn't been that fruitful of an experience. But you know, I stick to my word. I selected these rifts by the random number generator. So we are level 39, gonna push on to 40, and soon we are gonna get our two-handed weapon, which uh, is a level 70 weapon. We're gonna get it at level 41. That just obliterates everything at this level. And I wish I could have got to level to do T1s because I would have been able to do this a hell of a lot quicker. Uh, if I managed to, if I was allowed by the Lords of Blizzard to move forward. Uh, again, at the moment, I'm still blitzing uh, elites. Blitzing uh, most of, what the hell am I doing here? I'm just stood here. Yeah, this is cool. I'm enjoying just standing here. This is on fast forward, guys. I must have just gone for a piss or gone to make a cup of coffee. I'm just stood here like a complete lemon. On hardcore mode, I have left my character alone. For <laughs> friggin... I am asking for trouble. I just want Glindor to die. That's how, that's what I just did to him there. I screwed him. I screwed him good. Sounded a bit ominous, that line, actually. I was going to take it out, but I might leave it in. Just to prove to myself that I'm insane. So how's the lockdown treating everybody? Probably terrible. As you just heard it from me. Probably worse. I'm going slightly friggin' insane. So, level 41. Here we go. Now we're going to see a nice buff from power. Let's take a little look. 1,400% damage buff. That is friggin' huge. And now everything just melts. Everything just melts. See you later, see you later. Seismic slam, see you later. And the RNG gods have given me 17. Okay, that's pretty good. Moved a bit further on. We're level 54 now. Uh, as you can see, I just completely annihilated uh, on Neft 10. Uh, completely annihilated the, the Rift Guardian. So now we're on 17. We're level 54. We're moving forward. Still strong as ever. Still blitz and everything. Would have been doing this a lot faster if I had a gallop of judgment. I will stop using that in the next video, I promise you. I will have got over it by then. Maybe. Just just a little bit. I might have got over it. I don't know. I'm going to take a little while to think about it. But. Yeah, so we get some braces, but they're not going to do jack for what I'm trying to achieve now. The elite coming up now. Yeah, he he had me a little bit worried because he, he was a little bit stronger than I was hoping for. But we got over it, guys. Mwah, beautifully. We got past him. We got past him together. I got past it for people who are actually still watching this. At 23, 24 minutes in, you're still here. I love you guys. Thank you for sticking around. So, get a Rift Guardian. Freaking gob. Poison. You try, they are trying to kill me. They're trying to kill me. But I took him out anyway. RNG gave us Rift number 21. Awesome. We are now level 61. We are now on Torment 1. We are killing it. We are driving forward. We are absolutely smashing the back doors in on this. Let's move forward. Let's get through it. At the start of level 61, it was fairly easy. I was just, boom, seismic slab, everything's gone. Bump, seismic slam, everything's gone. Then they give me a shed ton of grotesques, arcane. And I'm thinking, woo, get the friggin' hell out of here. So, again though, I'm avoiding all the explosions. I've never concentrated so hard on leveling a character to level 70. I've never panicked so much in my friggin' life. When you just get to like a little bit lower health, boom, hit it straight with the healing. Um, when we get to like further on, because <laughs> there's only a few more rifts left, 
we get further on. I swear to God, I, 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 I cack my pants more than once. Uh, but there is one in particular moment that I, I'm, I'm going to share with you guys at the end of this video. That really, or towards the end of the video. That really... Whew, I almost lost it. Glindor almost dies. So if you are around at the 25 and a half minutes mark, please stay to the end. Because I nearly have a heart attack. Rift Guardian, again, a little bit more tricky because I'm not generating enough fury. So I use my Threatening Shout, uh, ignore Pain Bravado, uh, Cleave to generate damage, Seismic Slam. I get there in the end, but it was rough. Rift number 25. Here we are, on level Master. Nephilim Rift number 25, we are one away, two levels away, sorry, from level 70, hardcore, season mode, hardcore, worst possible start, three and a half hours of friggin' gameplay, absolutely insane playthrough, one of the worst I've had, but one of the best as well. If you are still around and you are still watching, make sure you hit that subscribe button. It really does mean a lot. It really, really does. So now we're coming into the final stretch. We are two levels away. Do I make it? Do I get past this friggin' level 70 mark? Can I do it? So we enter here. We enter here. A map full of grotesques. Poison, Arcane, and Elites. The results are terrifying. At half health, with no potion, I cacked my pants. But I still made it. Still managed to keep alive for now. We are so close, guys. We are so friggin' close. It is untrue. Level 68, can I get to 769? Makes it to 69, but does he make it to level 70? I have a Rift Guardian to kill. I'm not gonna get all the bars up. It's the Butcher. Out of all the ones to get, it's the Butcher. Smashed him. Not even a problem. Don't even know why I was worried. <laughs> These guys are losers. So I'll go on a little bit more of a killing spree, thinking I'm going to find something better. So, nope. Let's go back to town and start the final rift. Which is Nephilim Rift number 26. Now, does Glindor actually make it? To level 70 does he survive the endurance does he survive the test that Diablo has put in front of him let's find out We are so close. <laughs> I'm in I'm anxious watching. Did you see that? That flash of red. I almost died. I almost died at level 60, friggin' nine, with half a bar to go. But ladies and gentlemen, 
This is the best thing since Jack Black's Inward Singing. Level friggin' 70. For Glindor! Boom. We are above and beyond on hardcore, people. We are absolutely killing it. Level 70. This is a huge achievement. Just for me. Just for me, this is massive. I have never leveled a character without dying. I have never, let alone never leveled a character without dying. This is hardcore mode. If he dies, he's gone forever. Glindor is dead. And I can never bring him back. Well, maybe I could. I could probably rebirth him, but that's, that's not the point. You're not understanding the severity of what's going on. So, I decided to bring back Nerd of Steel because I literally cacked my pants. And we're moving forward. We're gonna take on our final Rift Guardian. Coming up soon. And again, thank you for watching. This has been a very emotional gameplay play today. Uh, I actually thoroughly enjoyed it though. Uh, playing as hardcore character. I've had to concentrate a hell of a lot more than I would normally. You know, we're Paragon level 2 now. We're Paragon level 2. Then I walk into a friggin' corridor full of everything. Full of elites, full of fire, full of damage. And the Rift Guardian pops up as well. It's just perfect timing. Perfect friggin' timing. Low on friggin'. I am low. So start attacking. Start attacking, start moving forward. He gets these bloody wasps out. Zoltan Cool is my final test. I'm struggling here, guys. I'm struggling here. Whirlwind, wasps. It almost goes down. I got just a little bit more to get him. But I've run out of freaking. And then it nearly happened. Boom! Nerves of Steel kicks in. I got to level 70. That was horrific. And uh, to find out there's a frigging conduit pylon just there was the worst feeling I've ever had in this game. But there we are, ladies and gentlemen. Gwyndor has survived. He is level 70. I need to he is level 3 Paragon. But he survived the test of everything that we threw at him. That guy deserves a medal. Not a kingdom, but a medal or a place in the Hall of Fame. Thank you very much for watching, guys. This has been an emotional journey, <laughs> to say the least. My name is DB. Thank you very much for watching. Please hit the sub button. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments, and I hope to see you all again soon.